We are at the penthouse today. Alright, alright. Six beta on level one, and then level two is beautiful roof terrace right there. Last but not least, oh my goodness, let's have a look at this view. The view is simply astonishing and amazing. Just right behind you, that is Bukit Timah Hill. Right tucked in between Kui Ling Lake as well as Bukit Timah Hill. That is of course the entire Hill View region. Right here in this particular locale, your closest MRT station is actually Bukit Gomba MRT and that's just less than 400 meters away. We are in a 3519 square feet with six bedrooms tucked in right on the single floor plate level one. And of course, this is a duplex penthouse with the internal spiral stairway right here. That's leading you up to your fascinating roof terrace upstairs and for the start of this home tour, I think I need to show you upstairs first because the view is amazing. Let's go. a view that's so hard to get in Landscar Singapore. There's no technically expressway right between them. It's so quiet. Later, I'm going to share with you what you can do with this place, but we need to head downstairs first. You are my home. We're having a white span layout, $500,000 of renovation being pumped in just less than one year ago. This is a Japanese Zen look, kind of modern fusion kind of feel with a Scandi kind of fusion tucked into the entire Renault theme as well. So if you notice a lot of five lines, curvature, consistent theme throughout the entire place, including these two beautiful mirrors right here. There are only three units here with 3,500 square feet of total building area. And the next biggest unit, they are 3,000 square feet. Those are the four bedrooms, but this is a six bedroom duplex penthouse that's extremely rare to get. I was trying to do a search on the entire property group portal on D23. This is the only project that's closest to Bukit Gomba MRT and to find four and five bedrooms onward and I have not even keyed in the size yet is almost quite difficult because if you look at the entire listings bandwidth there are only less than 30 listings available and if I were to add in a criteria of 3,000 square feet minimally then the amount of listings available will simply drop to less than 10. And I think this is one of the rarest units that you can get right here in D23 and we need to talk about pricing first because I'm going to segregate four different types of properties in terms of their tenor so that it's easier for us to make a key comparison. Number one, brand new 99 years botany at Dairy Farm and that is ongoing at $2,000 to $2,200 PSF. If I multiply that by a very typical, let's say four beta at maybe about 1,004 square feet multiplied by $2,000, that will bring us to close to $2.8 to $3 million. And of course, if you come to the second type of choice that you have, resale 99 years, for example, properties like Skywoods, they're going at about $1,800 asking price. And then you come to freehold projects in the Hillview region, they are also going in a range of about $1,007 to $1,900 PSF and you come to to Quilin View, this particular unit right here, 3.5 million, 995 per square foot. So in terms of the lowest PSF towards the highest PSF that you can get, that's close to about $1,000 in terms of disparity effect. What would be the biggest draw to buy this huge unit? Firstly, it's a rarity. There are only three units here. Secondly, it's almost impossible to get something above 3,000 square feet right now. Thirdly, developers are not building this kind of mega penthouses anymore. The key benefit why some owners love to go for huge square footages is that you don't have to worry too much about the lease because this is still having a balance lease of 72 years. There's still a good runway to go for the next 5, 10 years. If your property just appreciates by $200 PSF to $1,195 per square foot, let's say in the next 5 years, you're going to see an appreciation of close to $700,000 appreciation in your total quantum bandwidth. And most importantly, I think for space, your family is going to enjoy it right here. And I'm going to show you the first bedroom right here. Oh my goodness, let's have a look at this view. 
This is the biggest bedroom because it has been combined into one. But when you come for the viewing with our team, they're going to show you the master room as well as the second bedroom, which is right here. So this is right now like an open study, but it's extremely easy for you to put back the door right here. And we have the quotation for you to put back this door towards the second bedroom. Let's have a look at the master. Oh my goodness, let's have a look at this view. The way that Kui Ling View is being structured, five towers, 600 over units facing towards the same direction. Your master room has three separate windows, all facing towards the same view. You also notice that we're actually quite high in terms of our plot ratio because the older hill view condos right there are of a low plot ratio status. But it doesn't matter because in a sense that this is the entire hilly terrain. When you look outwards, you see this nice gradient from your lake, from the quarry, all the way towards the back. But you see the entire Bukit Timah here. Your kids are going to enjoy the proximity to the MRT station because that MRT is only two stops to Jurong East. And of course, you can shop at JQ. You can interchange that with East West Line. The room size here is fabulous. You have this nice curvature of wardrobe space that's being designed. Flooring wise vinyl. And this is a king bed, two side tables. You still have an enormous amount of space because this actually, this entire concave portion right here is supposedly for you to put in a nice, slim study desk. And you can look out towards the view, work from your master room. There's a really dressing table right here. ACs are all brand new and ensuite is fantastic. Now, I just love the consistency in terms of the theme. Curvature lines, even for your accessories in your bathroom, everything is gutted out. You have the automated spray bidet system from the Regal brand and standing rain shower. Everything is almost like brand new right here. <laughs> Second bedroom as we walk in, beautiful room right here. Now, there's a lot of intricacies that is being designed into the home. So you already have this system that is plugged beneath your floor line, beautifully done. Plug points are all structured right here. There's a hidden storeway right here. So you have a nice storage zone right tucked behind here. Of course, this can be converted into like a wardrobe space as well if you want to use this as a bedroom. This can be a nice connecting room if you have young children. Put in a double bunk bed right here. Let your kids stay in this room because because there's an attached room right here, which is like, if you want to create a walk-in wardrobe, this is also a fantastic place for you to do it because this is linked to your powder room. If you notice the consistency of all the WCs, they're all being done with the automated bidet system. And I just love the concrete finishing on the walls, glass door panels. Just have a look at the tiles. Oh my goodness, this looks beautiful. As we head out here, you have just seen two bedrooms. This is the view that you get the moment you walk out. Ceiling height is 3.15 meters, ducted aircon at the top, and three panels right here at the dining zone, three panels at the living zone and I have a look at this it just looks like the sun. So beautiful. This is your entire wall line for you to place your TV console. You reorientate your sofa space a little bit towards this direction. So when you come to the gourmet kitchen here, you have a dry and wet kitchen, bottom oven, microwave system, loads of storage within uh, the top cabinetry. And of course, you have multiple plug points right here. Quartz top, soft closure throughout very deep cabinetries. Nice curvature island top here. This serves as a breakfast table throughout. I think you can put in easily four stools circulating around the gourmet kitchen. And then, as we head in, first thing, this took our owners a lot of time to find. You can usually only find in America, Australia, Western countries, European countries, and Singapore is so difficult to find. Basically, it's called a waste meat system. You can just throw everything inside. It will actually grind it and then dispose it for you. Fantastic for every homemaker. And I think this is a great system to have. Space here for dishwasher. Loads of storage space at the bottom. I love this mayor system right here because it just takes care of taller people like me so I don't get to bang my head when I want to cook stuff. And small little pantry here. Great setup. Almost everything you want in the home is all checked. Helper's room is here. Yard space is done with Steigen system right at the top. And then you also have another double you see yard bath here. I also love the fact that right behind here, you're not facing towards any neighbors. Internal refuse system over here. Amazing. Astonishing. Fabulous. It's beautiful. <laughs> so
So welcome to the third bedroom. And this third bedroom currently is being designed as a full-blown entertainment room. Love the floating TV console ball system. This, of course, can be a common bedroom as well. And I think you should design this to be your home office because it's very close to the living area. Easy accessibility. You want to take care of your kids as well. They feel that you're close at home. I just love how the whole entire cooling is being structured because right behind the back, I don't get to see my neighbors. There's privacy. And moving now to the fourth bedroom. This is currently a kid's bedroom. Similarly, facing towards the front, I love the consistency of the ceiling height here. If you want to pump in the wardrobe space, is along this wall line. And of course, queen bed or double bunk bed right here. This is the common bathroom here. If you notice, the theme is again consistent. Standing shower space. These are the details usually that can only be achieved when you do a gut renovation. So you don't have to buy those kind of plastic bathroom features to stick along the wall line. This is the junior master with his own ensuite. Ensuite, corner, rain shower, and a lot of fine details right at the bottom. You have a lot of space to put in your toilet accessories. You have the extension of this uh, top as well, uh, all the way towards the end. I love that portion right there that you can put in a lot of stuff at the corner. Standing shower space is great. And then as you come in here, so maybe at this point of the home tour, you might be asking me, hey Mel, what is the money maintenance fee for this huge six beta duplex penthouse? And it's again shocking to know that it's less than $500 per month, which is extremely affordable. I want to have a glimpse of the facilities. You have two huge pools right in the middle, two side pools at the side, and then you have jacuzzi pools as well. Three tennis court, multi-story car park on two ends, and, and kids playground. Coming back to this room, I just love the amount of brightness for window space, and this is fabulous. Blinds are all nicely done. Invisible grills as well. Built-in day bed has been structured with bottom shelving storage space. And then as you come to the sixth bedroom, slightly smaller bedroom. When you come in here, this can be beautiful work from home zoning. If not, this can be a, another guest bedroom. This is queen bed zoning, two side tables. This space will be where your wardrobe space is being mounted on. And of course, you're facing towards your window space. This wall line here, do not waste it. This can of course be a study table area zoning. And then as we come out again, We need to look at where the market is going and it's very rare to get a penthouse owners to let go their unit. We need to look at where the market is going because based on the 40 odd launches that are launching in the market, what is happening right now is that OCR is doing minimally $1,008 to $2,200 per square foot based on the expectation of the launching price for the launches to come. In the RCR zoning, they're all going in the range of $2,002 all the way to $2,600 per square foot. CCR zoning will be between $2,006 all the way to $3,500 per square foot. So when you enter into this with 995 PSF, to get this size and the amount of bedrooms with $500,000 of reno being tucked into the pricing, this is almost a huge rarity. Now look at how can we make use of the space upstairs because firstly, if you have seen some of our penthouse breakdown floor plan series, we talk about the eight different types of penthouses. Duplexes, getting rare because developers do not want to spend so much space on one unit. So most of the time, you can only go back to the resale market to look for gigantic spaces like this. The first beauty of panel is that you do not have to head downstairs because you have your own internal space here. Second usage is that this is a fabulous space for hosting. You can tuck in barbecue pits here. Put in a nice 10-seater outdoor dining set right there. Secondly is that you can put in a nice mobile inflatable pool that your kids can have wet play right here. Having a day of fun over weekend with daddy mommy. Thirdly is that that base, I think you can flush out the entire zone with carpet grass. If you want to extend carpet grass up to here, I think it will look beautiful. Your kids can roll around and run around. This zoning has already been done with its own park points and washing sink. There's bottom storage space as well, outdoor durability. You have decking that is being done with composite material, also outdoor durability. And this can be a place for hosting late into the night. What this means is that let's say your friends or family members are here late into the evening, your kids need to head to school the next day. They can rest at level one. You can host late into 12. You're not going to disturb family members. And I think that is a fantastic luxury in terms of privacy as well. So how you utilize the penthouse is up to your own imagination and visualization. But most importantly, penthouses are considered the pinnacle of every condominium. They're usually considered the most prime and luxurious unit staying at the top of the building. And it's very rare to get a penthouse owners to let go of their unit in the resale market. If 
you want to have a look at this penthouse, give a call to Christina and sing one right now because this penthouse is a rare breed and do not miss this penthouse. This kind of penthouses comes out once in the blue moon and if you love District 23, if you love the hill view, Bukit Gombak area, this is the right penthouse for you. We'll see you on the next home tour. Because they always take a video again here. <laughs> Amazing. Astonishing. Fabulous. 3519 square feet. Completed year 2000. Lease was 1996. You just go around the Yeah, just go around the Okay. Because I'm going to run around. 